You've probably heard traders say it before, backtesting is a complete waste of time. And I'm here to tell you that that's just a bunch of bull. I have built my strategies into algorithms so I can backtest them over 20 years to see how strong the strategy is over the long term. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you and telling you and teaching you how to program your strategy into an algorithm or into a system or into an indicator so you can reap the maximum benefits of backtesting and become a long-term profitable trader. It took me over 15 years to become a consistently profitable trader and I just don't want it to take that long for you. It doesn't need to take 15 years to get to the point of making trading a full-time income. So that's what this channel is all about, is sifting through the garbage and getting to the points that make the most sense, the ones that are most valuable in your trading and progression as a trader. So I want to sh briefly show you guys a few of the accounts that I've been working on over the last couple of years. Some of these are fully algorithmic accounts, so EAs that I'm running with the Forex market, and some of them are a hybrid model, which combines uh, manual trading with discretionary trading. So the one that you're looking at right here, uh, this is a $30,000 account of my own personal funds that I've been trading uh, since June 16th of 2021. And this is the hybrid idea, so manual and discretionary trading. And you can see that, you know, I've had some up and downs, but uh, still on the way up. So I'm looking forward to the progression of this account. Uh, this is a $109,000 account at Oanda. Uh, this one's been going really well. And uh, this is a discretionary account as well. Okay, so the vigorous algorithm, this is a demo account. So you guys should be using demo accounts uh, to your benefit, uh, especially when you're testing and back testing a strategy uh, so you don't have to put real money on the line when you're unsure about your strategy. In this one, I started so early, uh, I wanted to see how it was gonna go and found out that the algorithm was actually really strong in live te uh, forward testing and just ended up keeping it going. And so you can see here that it's been running for over 12 months. Just because it's a demo account doesn't mean that it's not valuable because this is a fully functioning, fully automatic uh, algorithm. And if it's profitable in demo trading, it's likely going to be profitable in live trading if it's programmed correctly. And I'm going to be getting into that just a little bit later. Okay, so this is another account, the Ranger and Comeback Kid. This is running both of them together. This has been going since June 2nd of 2020. So this is one of my longer running accounts. It does have the longest, the largest drawdown of 78%. This account is more about progression than the drawdown in profit. Um, I add an additional $200 deposit to this account over time um, to can help with the compounding. So I do a $200 deposit every single month to grow this account and it started with $1,000. So that is a, an investing and a trading profit combination to help grow this account at a faster pace. Okay, so the Powerhouse EA, this is one of my new ones that I've been running, uh, building out, uh, hasn't been released yet, and the Ranger and the Invigorous together, this one's been going since May of 2021, and you can see the progression and the drawdown, drawdown is really quite low. So these are the algorithms that I've built, and I found that backtesting has helped me build these strategies. So the place that you really want to get involved with building out your strat trading strategy uh, into an algorithm is the MQL5 marketplace. You see right here, that there is a, a lot of information here, uh, but the place that you wanna start is freelance. So freelance is a, a place where you can basically hire out somebody to build an algorithm or an indicator for you. And you know, if you're a trader on TradingView, I know that TradingView is really popular, you may be using indicators there, um, you can always convert the indicators from TradingView into uh, MetaTrader 4 or MetaTrader 5. The reason why you don't want to use TradingView is because it's limited to what you can do with algorithms. It's not very intuitive. Um, you can't program to it very well. Uh, and so I recommend if you're going to be an algorithmic trader, if you want something to really backtest and really push to the limits, I recommend using MetaTrader 5 or maybe even MetaTrader 4. So this is the freelance area where you're going to be asking somebody to create your job for you. And it can be, you can give them uh, limited information until you get into more private chat uh, if you want to protect the integrity of your system. But it's not very expensive. You can create an algorithm for $30, you can create one for $50, and depending how extensive it is, it could uh, be upwards of $100 or $200. Uh, but in most cases, they're not very expensive. I recommend checking it out. I've built almost 250 
different algorithms uh, from the MQL5 marketplace now. Okay, so you also want some good data, data that is um, accurate in approach. And because when you're using data from your broker, whether it's IC markets or something, um, there are some holes in the data, especially the older the, whole, the data gets, uh, the less accurate it is. So I actually purchased data from uh, earview.net um, to import into MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 to help uh, give me more accurate results. And I'm going to talk more about that a little bit later on. The data is not very expensive. You can absolutely get a 14-day trial uh, and download the data within that 14-day trial. I think that MetaTrader 5 is the best trading software for algorithmic or passive or robot trading. It's basically nothing out there that uh, allows you and gives you this much control. So you can see that I am using a strategy or backtesting a strategy that I just finished developing. This is the scalping strategy for three different pairs. This is the pound US dollar from 2003 all the way to 2000, beyond 2020. And it shows that the strategy is uh, very capable. And there are three main things that I want to talk about uh, that my strategy here implements that you should be implementing in every strategy that you have created from the MQL5 marketplace, whether it's indicator or multiple, multiple indicator system. And I'm going to talk about how to appropriately do that. So let's take, for example, the AMA. This is a, an indicator and you could, a simple strategy that you could build is when the big thick line goes below the, the 30. It's also a 70 line way up here that you can't quite see. So 30 and 70 are our, our levels. And we want the AMA R side to push below the 30 level. And we want the, the third lower in, uh, dotted EMA line to also cross below the 30 level. And once that passes above, both of those lines pass above and they make a, it turns from red to gray that's when we want to enter the market. It's right about in here. You can see that that is an extreme situation. The market bottomed out and bounced back up. So this is a good place to enter in the market and it shows a good methodology or a good starting point for a potential algorithm. So now at that point you need to decide what to do after that. If the market decides to go down and against you, do you enter multiple trades? Do you enter on grid? Do you have a stop loss and they take profit? What kind of approach do you have once that entry criteria is met? That's something that you have to decide on your own. And you can have this in a combination of different indicators. Um, you can have it based on candlestick patterns. All these things are at your disposal and it's up to you to decide what works and what doesn't. You can watch a lot of my previous videos and I talk a lot about grid and multiple order trading to help you in designing something that works for you. Okay, so I want to talk about the three main things that you should be using in your strategy. So the first one is you should be looking at auto compounding. So my strategy uses a $5,000 balance. Okay. And so I'm using a $5,000 balance and my strategy is trading 0.01 lots for every $5,000 worth of balance. That means that it's auto compounding once it reaches a $10,000 balance. That means it's using 0.02 lots once it doubles its balance and it continues to do this through the entire test over uh, that 18 year period. And the reason why I have this, I have my strategy doing this is because it gives me a more accurate rep representation of how the strategy will perform uh, based on the starting balance size. And so instead of you know, starting and stopping the back test because my strategy can't auto compound, that is very time consuming and not very accurate and how your strategy will perform over multiple years of time. So it should have auto compounding. And that's something that a lot of people leave out of their strategy uh, and it, it ends up blowing accounts or not giving you the uh, estimated profit that uh, it's showing in the back test. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, so you can see here, this is the visual side of the back test. It shows you what the strategy looks like. It shows when and where the trades are entering and exiting the market. This is part of MetaTrader 5. It's a really cool feature. And you can zoom in, you can see when and where my trades are entering. So this is a uh, two trade setup here, average in position where one trade was taken, the second trade, and they both closed out for profit right at that point. And I'm looking for, since this is a strategy that's scalping the market, I'm looking for about three pips profit, actually exactly three pips profit. But you see here it says 34 points, all right? So that is 3.4 pips. 
The reason why it's taking an extra four pips is because it's including the spread, swap, and commission. You need your strategy to include broker fees because if it doesn't include the broker fees, that means you're not gonna get, get an accurate representation of how your strategy is going to perform in live data. Because if you're not including broker uh, commission and spread and fees, that means that your strategy is going to undershoot profit numbers. It's gonna also close out trades differently in live trading than it is in the back test. It's not going to give you a good idea of how your strategy will perform in the live market. So it's important to include the fees, uh, the broker fees in your strategy. These two things that I've already mentioned can be easily implemented by your developer that you choose for your strategy. The last thing I wanna mention is long-term data. So you want your strategy to run back as far as possible. So you can see here that I'm running my strategy back to 2003, which is the first available data for the pound US dollar. You wanna make sure that your strategy is capable of trading through all possible data events. So unscheduled news, scheduled news, uh, natural disasters, economy crashes, recessions, pandemics, all of these things. I have no news filters on my, my EAs in my back testing because I want my strategy to uh, have a better chance at adapting to uh, the future market, which is constantly changing because it's been able to trade successfully um, all of these uh, really strong market events and uh, traumatizing events that have happened worldwide or country-based. And so it's important that your strategy is capable of backtesting long periods of time uh, because it will be able to adapt better in the future. So most people do not backtest long enough. It, actually, the majority of traders do only three to six months of backtesting, thinking that's enough to show uh, the how accurate their strategy will be in the future. It's a big misconception uh, and it's a huge error by most traders. How I see it is create your trading strategy into an algorithm and see how well it performs over a long period of time. And it will give you a better chance at long-term profit if your strategy is capable of backtesting 20 years. And it's a very difficult thing to, to get a strategy to backtest that long. Um, but it's something that I found massively beneficial in my trading. And if you try for that, if you strive to get your strategy to backtest that long, I think you'll get a better chance at profiting in the future. All right, that's pretty much what I wanted to cover in this video. I hope that you guys can give me support and by giving me a thumbs up, uh, and a like for this video, so I can continue growing this channel. Thanks so much. See you in the next one.